Hello everyone, <clears throat> it's Rad, welcome to the channel, welcome to Rad Kutsaro and uh, this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising. A weekly tarot reading for March 11 to March 17th, uh, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I uh, want to remind you once again guys that this is going to be a, a general reading <clears throat> for Libra star sign and for that reason now, uh, this reading is going to resonate in a different way and as well in a different uh, level with every single different Libra. So, uh, in this video, I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread. But if you want more personal touch, meaning uh, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot, just like I'm doing for the uh, few examples uh, in this video, then that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. That is on the very first page, on the very front page of the website. So <clears throat> going to the tarot spread for Libra, the first card, which is the topic of Libra's week, that is going to be the page of swords. Uh, then the second card that we do have that is going to be uh, the things that Libra should not do regarding the topic that is going to be or yeah the negative approach toward the topic itself that is to be the Knight of Pentacles followed by the third card which is the positive approach and the positive aspect that Libra can do toward the topic that is to be the Eight of Pentacles and the last one which is the final outcome of growth should you follow the guidance here of tarot that is to be the four of pentacles so we do have a lot of pentacles once again uh page of swords knight of pentacles then it is the eight of pentacles and the last one that is to be the four of pentacles okay so like i said a lot of pentacles so definitely uh this week is about consolidating and it's about exerting stability into your life on the material scale and on the material front, kind of like consolidating um, <clears throat> financially wise or consolidating career wise as well. It could be also related to relationships, you know, where you kind of like reassure the future of the relationship. But uh, let's go to the cards one by one. So the first one, which is the topic that is to be um, the page of swords and uh, your topic is going to revolve around this person most likely a woman a little bit younger than you but it could be as well a man and it could be also a, a child that is very important the pages oh uh, <clears throat> the pages also can reflect children so very intellectually agile and very sensitive person who actually is going to be there to be in your service. So that person is going to help you. As a matter of fact, as the page sits alone and it is the prime subject of your week, I do believe, Libras, this, this, that this is going to be the unexpected help you require, kind of like the new source of help you require, you know, to kind of like shed light upon your uh, endeavors and make yourself reassured about the, uh, the certainty of the future. Now, because it's a page of swords, <clears throat> I don't think that this help is going to be uh, from in the material aspect rather kind of like um, helping you with something, you know, exerting material efforts. Uh, as the page sits, it most likely going to be an intellectual help, a mental help with ideas, you know, with clarity, uh, <clears throat> with analysis as well, kind of like this person analyzes your situation, gives you, uh, gives you their opinion and through their opinion you are actually are seeing a, a better way to approach something. Uh, if we're talking about children, uh, then this week is going to be a very important week because you have to give an example to this child here with the Page of Swords. That is if, for example, you are um, a daycare employee all right, where you take care of many children, this week is going to be very important because these children are going to get an example of you. And uh, in that way, 
you know, kind of like they're going to follow you in everything you do. So you have to be very careful how you, you know, approach any kind of any kind of subject and watch your mouth as well when it comes to tackling with children or toddlers either. The accompanied card with the page that is going to be the eight of swords. So the formation here that is to be active um, supporters and uh, this person if it is about person okay so this person is going to point you why you are struggling or rather like how you contribute for your for the situation you're finding yourself that it is hitting a wall that is it it is a dead end situation so the point here with these couple of cards is that whatever plight you face either regarding career or either regarding relationship <clears throat> It is not without your personal contribution into it. So you do have a certain, you know, um, how can I place it? You do have a certain involvement into the plights that you are experiencing at this very moment. And this person here is going to reveal you the way out of difficulties. But with the, with the Eight of Swords into this position, it does look like that this way that the person is going to reveal is not going to be very well taken from your behalf so it's kind of like it will it will involve you making some unorthodox moves from your behalf i could have said that when uh, only with the page because the page is usually a point of conflict you know just to give you an example of that you are facing difficulties into your relationship you share that with a friend of yours here the page and the page said or, or the friend of yours says are you stupid man i mean a, are you really going to admit to that or are you really going to do that and so on and so forth why don't you do this instead and these these kind of like fruitful conversations is that you're going to have with this person and from their points of view and from their strategy or the seemingly uh, exertable strategy that they are going to give you you are to see that actually things can stir back again one more thing I want to say in a completely superficial level with these cards is that should you lack communication with someone that you rely on, all right, or, or a person that you kind of like don't have in your life right now, but they are a, a substantial asset for your life, it, it will require these cards requires from you to confront them and to get back in touch and resort or rather like resolve the disagreements that you both are having at this very moment either with ex you know with your boss or with a colleague of in work and so on and so forth these couple of cards are really asking you to um restore connection with uh, with these people okay which are um kind of like which can be uh, of in you uh, of use for you for the uh, for the undertakings that are yet to come in the future or for the undertakings that you are currently trying to develop at this very moment then the next card that we do have this is going to be the um, <clears throat> the knight of pentacles which is what you should not do regarding the situation so what the knight of pentacles is it's a very balanced person who knows what he has to do and what he wants therefore this card is a sign that you have to follow the advice of that person here, the Page of Swords, rather than following your original plan. So it's kind of like a deviation. Basically, this card points that you don't know how to approach the situation or there, or there is more efficient way that you can approach this situation. And this efficient way is given to you by that page, by this person that it is stepping out this week and displays a little bit of an orthodox idea you know some even it may seem foolish you know idea or a plan of action and you gotta follow this plan of action additionally with the knights of pentacles uh, liberals taking a break and going on a vacation resting and so on and so forth uh, it's it's highly unadvisable throughout the week i only need one more card here we do have the judgment which uh, the formation is um, <clears throat> passive neutrals so literally what these cards here are pointing is that through the uh, guidance that that person is going to give you through the use that you're going to make from them of their intellectual agility and uh, as well their re uh, refined personality as well 
it's going to be exactly the, the resolution and the solution you need in order to uh, overcome the plights into your career or in, in order to overcome the plights into your relationship. The thing here with these couple of cards is the more you listen to what they're telling you, even, uh, even if at the start it does look like something um, that cannot be incorporated, that cannot be exerted as an idea or a plan, the more you comprehend on it, the more... Um, you deliberate on what they told you, the more reason you're gonna find in it. So whenever, whenever throughout this week, Libras, you hear, uh, you know, an advice from a friend or even from your, uh, from your lover because the, the situation could play out that way, you know. Uh, you may have big difficulties in your career, you share it with your wife or with your husband, they, give you an advice and you kind of face that advice with yeah yeah what do you know i mean it's kind of like let me deal with my problems career-wise on my own but actually their advice at, if not the full resolution is going to contain a, a big portion of it that's why it will kind of like it will benefit you a lot if you listen to any kind of advice you get throughout the week from friends, from family, and especially from that person, which should be around your age, all right? But it could be as well a child. And even now that, I, that I'm thinking about it, it could be that playing with a certain kid or your kid, <clears throat> the, the resolution of a certain plights of yours could come around and could um, allow you to break through the barriers you have um, invested in all right because these plights you're facing whatever plights you're facing uh, are are there not without your personal involvement as well so the next card that we do have for you this is going to be the the uh, eight of pentacles here Libras, and that is the positive approach toward the situation so you have to attend to this uh this advice or that strategy this person gives you with a um, a huge amount of consciousness okay um, you need to start observing it having the eye for the subtleties for the minor details make your plan because at the end of the week for what it seems with this card and even only with this one what took long time to prepare which means this idea or this resolution that that person gives you is gonna is gonna be brought into fruition. Also, with the Eight of Pentacles, it's important to know that the ups and downs are a very vital part for one endeavor, from one relationship, and from one career path. So you are to face ups and downs throughout this week, and you have to tackle with them, or rather attend to them with the whole seriousness that you are capable of. <clears throat> Especially if we're talking about relationship, relationships with the Eight of Pentacles, the ups and downs, it is exactly what is consolidating what is quenching one relationship so, so should you date are you dating with a certain person or should you date with a certain person this weekly reading could play out in a certain way you know you may date with them but uh, you are not satisfied with the results of dating and a friend of your friend of yours propose you you do something different this time around first time you may face it you know with a bit of a skepticism but the more you comprehend and contemplate on it the more reason you see in it so you incorporate it it does provoke ups and downs and through those ups and downs you know uh, you consolidate and quench your relationship same thing could play out into your career as well but once again, as a general reading, it will depend what your situation is. The whole point with the Eight of Pentacles is that you should, as I said, have an eye for the for the minor details here because these minor details at the start of the of the week rather eludes you in a certain way, and that's why this person comes in, steps out, and tells you what you're missing what kind of important details you're overlooking and now you are to have the time to attend to those uh, minor details. The accompanied card here that is going to be the moon with uh, the uh, eight of pentacles. So we do have a formation of passive 
friends and um, it does look like that you are going to work on those kind of like aspects of either your relationship, career or maybe both that are breathing insecurity. So now we know that that person is going to not just give you an advice, guys, but is going to be as well that so much needed help intellectual help to point you what really is wrong either into your career or either into your relationship should you face difficulties with a um, co-worker of yours and that co-worker is spreading rumors nasty gossips and these kind of stuff well that person is going to tell you why they're doing that and how you can overcome it how you can fix this okay and you got to start working toward that direction by uh, meticulously attending to every single minor detail of the process of resolving those uh, those issues but uh, <clears throat> on the grand scheme of things as we said about ups and downs especially a relationship wise uh, should you face ups and downs regardless what kind of a field um, either career or relationship wise with these cards it's inevitable the moon card says and like I said, they're there just to make you stronger and not weaker. But with those couple of cards, you should not stop doing what you're doing the way you want to do it after you comprehend on the advice of this person which is coming around. So <clears throat> the last card that we do have for you guys, that is going to be the Four of Pentacles, which is the final outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of tarot meaning listening to the idea to the advice and to the strategy this person provides you acknowledging as well that you do have as well finger into the plight that you are facing uh, <clears throat> readopting your strategy meaning not being a uh, stubborn regarding how you want to approach one thing and uh, on top of that having this you know attention to the subtleties, to the minor details, having the patience to overcome them, to, to tackle with them and so on and so forth. It does look like that you are going to sit on already proven concepts at the end. So it means that you are to solidify your positions career-wise or relationship-wise because, excuse me, because the Four of Pentacles, it's all about sitting into a, a very, very comfortable position, even taking a defensive measures and I'm saying defensive measures, precautionary measures, in case further down the road, you know, something may jeopardize this comfortable position, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. Consolidating on your, uh, <clears throat> on your benefits, on your resources, and being capable to assure a, a stable and foreseeable future as well. So it's kind of like obtaining huge control either, either over your relationship or either over your career or maybe both. And the next card that we do have or the, the catalyst here is going to be the Eight of Wands and the formation is passive and neutrals. So it, it does look like that you're going to minimize the risk from future undertakings and future uh, <clears throat> opportunities which are presented to you to minimum and uh, from there you can only how can I place it you are only going to choose those kind of uh, uh, enterprises which you are 100% sure that you can bring to very end and that there is something in it for you as well so it's I don't know how you say it in English, you know, but you know these people that always say yes, even if they know that it's, it's, they're going to do something for ungrateful, for ungrateful people or for no benefits at all. Should you follow this guidance here, guys, um, that will no longer happen. Maybe you are going to clash with a person who tells you straight away in your face how foolish you are and how you always, you know, take care for the happiness of others instead of your personal happiness. And you need to learn to say no, okay? Especially if Libra, your uh, birth number is number three, you definitely need to learn how to say no, okay? Because uh, I know a person who is Libra and personal number three, and they're just way too kind to a point that it is it is noxious for their life so uh, it's kind of like 
it is what you need to do and I do believe that for the majority of you it's, it's what is going to happen you know person is going to come around they're going to display you the reality here because the page as well discerns very well fictions from facts all right and maybe you are not gonna like the facts at that point but the more you comprehend on those facts the more you are going to see reason behind them and hopefully you know because this is a general reading it's all about your decision and your your choice here hopefully you know you will start taking care more for yourself rather than for the others so that being said guys this was your weekly tarot reading i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again that was a general reading for libra star sign and for that reason is going to resonate in a different way and level for every single different libra if you want more personal touch, however, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to give you prediction for the future, just like I did for the examples in this video, uh, then you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there on the very first page, you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.